wanted to show you guys a video on what I do on my normal hair routine, which means I take a shower every other day. Body shower, where you wash your pits, your chest. I hardly ever use expensive products on my hair. What's the difference? Oh, excuse me, Miss Paul Mitchell. But look, I used to wear Paul Mitchell all the time. Did no diff to my hair. My hair just smelled like it was $27 a bottle. Like me, who don't always have the luxury of buying expensive things. I gotta stick with my drug Oh, I gotta stick with my drugstore. Why are you leaking? It's better, okay? A 40 to 50 bucks on shampoo or a hair car? Come on. That is straight up bow. But I'm not them, so who cares? Um, I do use this pant, 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 panty uh, Pro V, um, the moisture renewal. This thing can last me probably a month. And then I use its complement, normal to thick hair, because that is what I have, thanks to you, mama. I've been using Pantene since I was 16, because. My parents loved Costco. Okay, so we're going to start off. Well, I've got, I'm a towel head <laughs> right now. Resume! This is their heat tamer spray. You don't want no broomstick hair. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit of magic in my hairs just so it's tangible. It's a 10, Miracle Leave-In plus keratin. But I, I, I don't know. This one smells like an old man's deodorant. And I'm going to use my handy dandy once a luxurious hairbrush now with just some crooked old cheap one. Okay, so I usually leave the towel on my head for about 25 minutes while I'm doing my makeup just so... Ow! I don't know if my hair is too wet. I get afraid that a piece of the wetness may get in my blow dryer then. And I really don't want to pull a Britney and shave my head. I have very thick hair. It's very coarse. Like a horse. They're very well and get all the tangles. Ghetto looking in the end. You see all that burnt marks? I get this big sexy room pump, room, room pump. Give it a little shake job. And I do it again. And I just kind of squeeze that. Can you see? Oh y'all. Yeah. Okay now, next we're gonna do a little bend and snap. And let me show you what that means. Mm. Bend! And we snap later. I blow down my hair upside down because it gives it a lot more volume. And now begin! What do we have here, Miss Bruja? I always follow this right eyebrow and I point it up. And this is where I make my line. I make my line to the side a little bit more just so we can frame your face. Okay, excuse my fan, but it's like a thousand degrees in here. But do you see how it kind of goes like this? That's because I have a V shape in the back. Let me show you. You probably can't see that if I'm wearing dark. Is my song hanging out? Nope. Um, my hair is unpredictable. It can go wavy anytime. So I'm using one of my favorite hair straighteners and I usually set it 380 degrees. No, I am not ashamed. Okay, so here's what I do. I take my hair straightener, I use it as a curler and I curl it to the opposite side. Okay, una más for the slow people. I take my hair straightener and I curl my hair the opposite side. And now we're gonna curl it from behind like this. Okay, you see how that curls out? Further away. Where's the freak in my hairbrush? You know how I blow dried my hair like this? We're gonna straighten it this way so it gives it more. Ooh. Hello. Do I make a cute boy? Justin Heber. Yeah. Ah. And I just curl it in like that. Take the underneath hair and curl it towards you. Okay, and then you want to take one of these combs and I just comb it one through again, so just wave that like that. Okay, I changed my colored shirt for you just so you can see because my hair is so black. Okay, so last but not least, I get this big sexy hair called Big Shine. I don't know, what is that? 24 inches? And, hmm. Again, spray. Give it a roll so it travels through your hair and wipe it. Now from the back. So yeah, that is my actually every other day hair routine and I will see you later. Bye.